Dr. Sajid here again uh, with another topic, a very important one actually, a very serious one. We're going to be discussing meningitis. Now you've heard of this um, name and disorder. It is actually an inflammation of the covering of the brain. You may know that the brain has layers or coverings and when these get infected, the condition is called meningitis. It is rather common in children and it's a serious disease and we'll talk about what causes it and how to manage it. So meningitis, as I said, is an inflammation or an infection of the covering of the brain and it comes from elsewhere, which means the infection is not really present right there, but it comes from either the ears or the nose or the throat or sometimes when there is infection anywhere else. In other words, it circulates in the blood and gets to the meninges. So it could be a viral infection, it could be bacterial, but in this case, the most serious form is bacterial. And any age, a person can get it, but it's more common in children. So how do we recognize it and what happens? Most of the time, the uh, child gets very high fever. Now, if you get high fever, along with it, there is headache and the child starts to vomit. And you have these three conditions, that is vomiting, headache and high fever. You should consider the possibility of meningitis. Now, there are other conditions that may cause this, but the uh, doctor will examine the child and determine whether this is um, possible meningitis. One of the ways is that the neck uh, becomes very stiff and uh, the child is unable to bend the head downwards uh, towards the chest. So he will do other examinations and once he thinks that the child has meningitis, then the uh, diagnosis process begins. And the process involves, amongst others, like a blood test, perhaps a chest x-ray, perhaps a culture of the throat sometimes. But the most important test that um, makes the diagnosis is what we call an analysis of the spinal fluid. You take a, some fluid from within the spinal cord where the spinal cord ends. So from the spine in between the bones. You take some fluid and you send it for testing. This is called spinal fluid analysis. And this is again also sent for culture. Now it is such a serious condition that you don't wait, wait for the results. You start treating it immediately. And in this particular condition, the treatment is, um, has to be antibiotics. And not only does it have to be antibiotics, but also has to be given uh, intravenously as we call it through the drip so main treatment is antibiotics given intravenously but there are other um, ways of treating it where in addition to the antibiotics you may require medicine for fever for pain and sometimes if this disease gets to be very serious some children especially the younger ones may also get what we call fits or uh, seizures. So then those have to be treated. The treatment is effective, but it is rather long and it uh, involves at least seven to 10 days of treatment. And despite the best efforts, there is a possibility that the treatment may not be complete and that there may be complications. Now, the reason we fret and worry about this condition is that the complications can be very serious. A child or a baby who gets this infection may be left with problems of nerves coming from the uh, brain. So may have eye problems, may have hearing problems, especially hearing problems are commoner after meningitis. May have paralysis of one arm, both arms, legs or weakness, may have um, delays in development, may have mental retardation, and may also have seizures. So the best thing to do 
is to prevent it and once it occurs it should be treated so how can we prevent it being away from other people grown-ups or children who have meningitis and there are preventive shots so the shot for pneumonia prevents against meningitis the shot for haemophilus influenza b which is also given during the first year and the shot for meningococcus which also prevents against meningitis so we have the uh, availability of the vaccines and please get your child vaccinated so that you can avoid this very dreadful condition i hope this information was of use to you we will come back with uh, another topic uh, pertaining to children